Let's play a little game in math. What function am I if I am given this information? Vertical asymptote is equal to 1, horizontal asymptote minus 2, and y-intercept 5. Given this information, what function can we be dealing with? When you have vertical asymptote, your representation is what? It's x equals 1, vertical asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is always in the horizontal form. y is equal to minus 2. Your y-intercept will be represented best as 0, 5. Given this information, you know you are looking here at a rational function. Use this vertical asymptote to develop your denominator polynomial. The zero of the function would have been what? x is equal to 1. Because you are dealing with the x minus 1 equals 0. You would solve for x. You would have a 1. That would represent your vertical asymptote. The horizontal asymptote y equals minus 2 it comes from the interplay of both of these numerator and denominator polynomials. The fact we have a minus 2 here means I have a minus 2 which was involved with a particular variable and there's some item over here I don't know. This is what I'm looking here at. And think about it. If you were to do a limit determination at infinity for a rational function, which was this, a unknown minus 2x divided by x minus 1, you are to divide the numerator and the po denominator polynomials by the highest order variable degree exponent. That's an x. Look what happened. In the numerator, you'd have a box item minus 2x over x. This box item is my unknown. I have to determine it divided by x minus 1 over x. When you simplify it out, you'd have a box over x minus 2 divided by 1 minus 1 over x. Limit as x approaches infinity, these would zero out. I'd be left here with my limit and result, which would be a minus 2 over 1, which would be a minus 2. What would this minus 2, 2 tell me? It would tell me that the curve of this rational function as x approaches infinity is approaching a horizontal asymptote. And that right there is this minus 2. So I now know that this representation here is indeed correct. I need to determine this, and I can, using my y-intercept value. At a given y-intercept value, I have an output y equal to 5, but an input x equals 0. Look, I have an unknown minus 0, because I'm putting zeros in places x, divided by 0 minus 1 is equal to an output 5. That would give me my y-intercept. These are meaningless. I have an unknown over minus 1 is equal to 5, and that unknown is equal to what? Minus 5. And suddenly our rational function takes light. We have a minus 5 minus 2x or x minus 1. This right here is my rational function and it will be correct. Just represent this yourself on a graphing tool. You'll see vertical asymptote will be exactly what I have for you. Horizontal asymptote, minus 2, y-intercept, 5, and it will be correct. Minus 5 minus 2x two, two or x minus 1. This representation is good.